Greetings. Welcome back to God. I'm Mia. Let's dive in. On this channel, um, I'm walking you through my journey, my redemption journey back to God. And this morning I was thinking about, you know, what, where am I? Where am I on my journey? And um, I've come across quite a few people who are like, you know, I grew up in the church. I grew up Christian. My father was this. My mother was this. And I didn't have that experience. Okay. Um, I actually was taking myself to church back in the second, third grade. Uh, we lived on a street and there was like a huge uh, Presbyterian church on the corner. And because my neighbor went there, I was like, okay, cool. Let's go to church. I ended up doing the chimes, lighting the candles and Bible study, you know, so that was my introduction into church. However, nobody around me was going. So I was going by myself as a seven and eight year old. Um, and it just wasn't a part of my environment. It wasn't a part of my family practice. And so I wasn't hearing on a consistent basis, the language or the Wednesday night Bible study or this, you know what I mean? So um, while I went to church and I took myself to church, I was still a very small child. And so a lot of the language escaped me as I grew older, especially going on the path that I went down. And so this morning, you know, I thought about all the videos I've been watching and thinking to myself, I, I hear these words, I kind of gather what they mean, but I don't really know exactly what they mean. And I know I'm not the only one, right? <laughs> so um, I also put, to, put two and two together because I am a trained teacher, which is something that I have um, allowed to be put over there, right? I've been pursuing other things and I'm like, I might need to get back to the basics. I'm a good, I'm good at teaching. That's, it is what it is. So why don't I take this opportunity to not only teach myself, but to share what I'm learning in the process? Cause I know I'm not the only one. Okay. And especially if you're on a redemption journey back to God, the reason why this is important is because Nobody here, nobody is here to question your intimacy with God. Okay. Your intimacy with God is yours. However, it does help to have a, a, a close understanding of the language that is used within the word of God um, and within the language of those who represent God. Okay. So that's why that's important. You know, I'm not telling you, you have to know these words, but it's very helpful because when you're in conversation or you're listening, you can have a better understanding of what they're talking about. Two of these words today, I was confusing. Just <laughs> keep it real. I was confusing. And so I looked them up and I said, oh, okay, I get it now, right? So um, the first one is decree. I decree, right? You might hear a pastor or preacher that I decree, I decree. And you're like, I decree, I decree, but you don't really know what you're talking about. Right. And so it's an official order. It's when an official order is issued by an authority. All right. It's when an official order is issued by an authority. As it relates to when you're when you're decreeing this over your life, most of the time, that's when we hear I, I decree this over your life, decree this over your life. You are the authority. Under God, you are the authority. So you are the one making something official. How are you making it official? Through verbalizing it, through language, right? That's another um, That's another point to say, like language is very important. Communication is extremely important. And so it's very important that you understand these words that you're using. Every word means something. It, it, the frequency of it, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, right? And so, um, Decree, to decree something over someone's life, to decree something over your own life is saying, I have the authority to do this, right? God has given me the authority to do this, right? So that's a term that speaks to power. It's a term that speaks to um, putting you in a position where you can decree something over the enemy, over somebody who is trying to come against you, right? So that's the first word. The second word is to denounce. Now we had decree and now we have denounce. These next two words are the words that I was confusing with each other, although they are spelled different, start differently, they sound the same, okay? So the second one is denounce, and it is to publicly declare to be wrong or evil. So if I denounce witchcraft, I am publicly saying 
witchcraft is wrong and it's evil. Simple as that. You are stating it publicly, right? And so again, language, you have to have the language that affirms what you're wanting to say, your intention. So decree is giving you the power, the authority. Denounce is to publicly state that's not the juice, right? Okay, the last one is renounce. Renounce, and it's to formally declare one's abandonment of. Formally declare one's abandonment of. I have renounced tarot. I have renounced candle magic. I have renounced, um, what else was I doing? Whatever fell under writing petitions and trying to manifest my own will. And I have renounced all of that. Okay. So I have denounced and renounced it. So I've denounced it because I'm like, that's wrong, right? It's evil. It is a tool of evil. It's a practice of evil. Why? Because it goes against God. I have renounced it because I have abandoned those practices. I don't do those anymore. The things I used to do, I don't do it anymore, right? That's the difference. One is just saying that's bad. The other one is saying, I don't live there anymore. That's not me. Don't come looking for me over there, right? So again, we have decree is the power. It's the authority. Denounce is that's bad. Renounce is to remove myself from that act or that practice or that thought process anything that's going to remove you from whatever that is. Okay. So I hope this helped. Um, and it really has allowed me to really be clear on what it is that I'm saying and putting out. Right. Um, and I'm going to get into more vocabulary words, get into more meanings, um, as well as prayer. Cause I, I've, Back in the day, you'd be like, well, how do you pray? And I, I actually have done research on this and it, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one. So um, I want to get into that. You know, a lot of the videos I've come across, these are, I mean, these are preacher kids. You know, these are children who, who are now grown, but they grew up in this world. And then you have me who is like, well, yeah, I used to play some chimes, <laughs> right? Like, but I don't know all that. Um, and it's a lot of us out here, but that doesn't mean that we should have any type of barrier to really being present in the word of God or really understanding God on a, on a very deep, intimate level. And a big part of that for me is language. Like I said, I'm a language, I was a language teacher. I used to stand in front of classrooms of nobody spoke English and they was just looking at me. So, I mean, <laughs> language and communication is my thing. So that's one of the main pillars that will be here on this channel, as well as my journey, as well as my findings, as well as me learning the Bible myself. Um, I've also realized that I'm just now getting into the stories of the Bible. You know, the Bible was always thrown at me as like, this is what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? But nobody took the angle of, no, you need to tap into some of these stories, right? Tap into the stories because the teaching is in the story right? These characters are all around the neighborhood. Like, you know, so when you look at it like that, it makes it a little bit more easy to grasp. So I'll be diving into that as well. But this was the very first video with the vocab. Um, I hope it was helpful. Leave it in the comments if it was. Share it with somebody who this may help along their walk. Um, because once you make something just quick and plain, it makes it much more palatable and it it's less likely to push you away because you feel like the black sheep of Bible terminology. Okay, so <laughs> I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.